This was 25-year-old Ahmed Arbery. He is now dead, shot by two men while he was jogging in broad daylight on a Sunday afternoon in February. Hashtag I run with Maud trending on social today on what would have been Ahmad Arbery's 26th birthday. People all across the country are running, jogging or walking 2.23 miles in his honor. Ask anyone who knew him, Ahmad Arbery loved to run. Unless it was pouring rain down outside, Ahmad was going to be running. But somehow on a sunny Sunday in a coastal Georgia community, Arbery's run became a deadly chase. McMichael, a retired Glen County police officer, and his son Travis grab a handgun and a shotgun, according to police documents, jump into a truck and begin following Arbery. The report describes how the father and son, along with another man, tried repeatedly to cut him off each time Arbery just ran around them. Eventually, the father and son managed to get ahead of Arbery, using their truck to block his path, Travis McMichael on the street holding a shotgun. The worlds of the runner and the chasers collided violently. I'm out here at Chicago Shores. There's a black male running down the street. Sotilla, where, where, where at Sotilla Shores? I don't know what street we're on. Stop right there, is it? Stop. A black family in Georgia pressed today for authorities to act after the shooting death of their son. Some believe this is yet another example of an unarmed black person shot and killed unfairly. There are a lot of people who are dis uh, discouraged and believe that this is going to be one of those cases um, that has happened in other parts of the nation where life was lost and justice was not rendered. He was a happy-go-lucky person. He loved his family. He was a very good young man. I can truly say that from the bottom of my heart. And everybody that knew him, knew his heart. Because he wasn't the kind of young man that bothered nobody. He loved everybody. So I've just run about 2.23 miles in honor of Ahmad Arbery. I've come here to one of my favorite places here in Boulder. This is a place where I come when I want to think about things, and there's a lot to think about right now. And uh, what happened to him is so beyond disturbing. It's really affected me the last couple days, reading all the news reports about what happened to him. I don't want to live in a world where people are hunted down and murdered because of the color of their skin, I or their sexual orientation or for just being different. I don't want to live in that world, but unfortunately it seems like we still do and it's sad and he sounded like such an amazing young man. I've listened to the interviews with his father and, and he just sounded like he was my kind of guy, the kind of guy that I would have wanted to hang out with. Just full of joy and kindness and heart and soul. He was he was a good citizen. He was a good American and he didn't deserve to die. He didn't deserve to be hunted down, all because of the color of his skin. And not only do I not want to live in a world where people think it's a good idea to murder other people for the color of their skin, I don't want to live in a world where people get away with it. It happens way too often. We're better than that, you know? If you watch my channel, you know that I'm all about love and kindness and just treating other people with respect and we can all do that it's it's not hard and it feels good when you do it when you meet a new person and treat them with respect and give them a hug and a high five and ah, it just blows me away because it's so it's so foreign to me the idea of wanting to to murder somebody for any reason really let alone some kid jogging through your neighborhood and you say oh that guy let's go get him because he's black it's so messed up today was his 26th birthday and i can't imagine the pain that his family has gone through over the last 10 weeks since he was murdered and especially today on his birthday when they should have been so full of joy and happiness and eating cake and all those good things that we all get to do on our birthdays but they don't get to do it today because their son is gone. Whew. 
It's got to stop. It's got to stop now. I don't know what it's going to take for us humans to learn our lesson and to treat one another with respect. But uh, it needs to happen and it needs to happen right now. I can't imagine if my mom got a phone call that I was murdered while I was running. Something that we should all be able to do without fear. I can't imagine the pain that my mom would go through and I feel so much for his parents and for all of his friends and his community that they have to deal with this. Hate has got to go. There is no place for it in our society. <sighs> so what do we do about this? We speak up, we demand justice, we get involved. We lead by example. When something ugly happens, we call people out for it. We can't let it keep on happening. It doesn't matter if somebody's different, if their skin color is different, if their sexual orientation is different, if they're different for any way, it does not matter. We're all on this planet together and we're all part of this human race, right? We need to come together more than ever. Now is the time. Now is the time. It's been time for a long time, actually. If you watch my channel, you know that when I get to the top of a mountain, I like to send love shout outs to my family and my friends. Well, this love shout out goes to Ahmad. I love you, Ahmad! Woo! I hope you hear that in Georgia. We're thinking about you.